Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's try and get this sorted a bit. Woo! There you go. Gonna be a quick one today. It's ferocious here in the UK at the moment. Oh my word. I've seen some people put videos up and they're going, hey man, here in Arizona it's 109. 109, 109. It's 80, 89 degrees Fahrenheit here. Well, in the UK, we're not used to weather. We don't normally do weather. It, it's just rain. Uh, but this past couple of days has been ferocious. And it's ferocious in the back room, in the back room, in the bathroom, and the back room. <laughs> I don't deal with heat well, so we're going to have a quick one today. It's not cold water, it's lukewarm water. Um, cold water, I've got, I've got quite a bit of growth. Can you see that there? And it's like iron filings, and if I put cold water on that, it makes it hard and wiry. So it's kind of just at room temperature, which today is warm enough, isn't it? All right, let's have a rundown, see what we've got. There's the brush. That's the Yaki Oceans. Can you see that? That was gifted to me very kindly by Lee Hazley. Thank you, Lee. Absolutely love it. Out of all the brushes Yaki do, that's now my number one. Absolutely love that. We've got that going in there in the John Shears Super Soaker. Bit of warm water in there today. Um, what should we do? We're going to balm up and splash up. Look at these. We've got a matching set, guys. Nivea. Fresh kick. Absolutely beautiful. We've got the balm and we've got the splash. Lovely, fresh burst of citrus it, it, it's i get citrus from it it's really really nice really refreshing there the razor oh, i picked a blue razor there you go one of the first razors i actually bought then yaki dlc diamond like coating or it may stand for diamond like carbon i think it stands for diamond like coating i don't know diamond like carbon what's that oh, well it's one of those there you go, that's it. It's not a bad little razor, guys. It was about £20. I've had it for quite a few years as well. What we're going to be putting in that, gifted to me by Christopher Thompson over there from New York. How are you doing, Christopher? Don't work too hard. Wilkinson Sword Classic Double Edge Razor Blades. So we'll open these. We'll get that there. <coughs> there you go. We'll keep that for future thumbnails, that little card in there we'll take it out oh. <laughs> right we'll put it back it's there and i can't get it back in now but, but that's going to look really nice on future thumbnails isn't it no it's not it's not having any of it there you go but there's the razor blade oh guys it really is. I can't overstate it. I'm sure it's not just me that's saying it. It's, it's ferocious. It's absolutely... Right, now. Let's have a look at these blades. I've not seen them like that. Is that just me? I've not seen them like that before. With the tiny little Wilkinson sword logo in the middle there. But there you go. We'll get it in our yaki. And we'll have a shave and we'll get out of this bathroom as quick as is humanly possible. There you go, we've got it in there. That's quite an aggressive razor. Uh, people always ask me in the comments because I forget to mention it. Uh, I would put that um, a well above, well above um, a Merca 34C, well above uh, that, yeah. But nice smooth shave, so we'll put that there. Can you see I'm hot? Do I look hot? I look purple to me. I am purple day. Look, got my thought purple face. So I'll put my purple, see, my purple barber shop t shirt on. That's foxy because I'm a bit of a fox. Look, and we've got a purple towel as well. There you go. All we need now is some purple rain. Purple rain. See. You play that back to a loved one after. Say, shut your eyes and listen to this. Play it back, who's this? And I bet they all go, oh, it's Prince. This is the only mentholated soap. I can, the soaps I've got in there. Could I find a mentholated soap? 
nada. So we're going with this one. Williams, I folded that over. I folded that over because on the thumbnail, everything was dead small and then this, everything will just come up to there. Come up to there and then that was whoop and it looked kind of stupid so I folded it over. But there you go, Williams. Um, the Aqua Velvet people. See it there, mentholated, ice fresh. This smells terrific guys. Oh, lovely, fresh, clean, soapy scent. What we're gonna do, look, there it is. That's what it, see it, it's got like a kind of a blue tinge to it. Looks like toothpaste. This is what we're gonna do. We're not messing about today. I thought, shall I get my ball out? Shall I lather in the ball? Shall I let them see me? Shall I be professional? No. How much? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean for that. You see what I mean? Well, I just, if this goes, this goes pear shaped guys. I'm going to blame the sun. I am, I'm going, I'm going to put a bit more on. Wow, it's very slick and it smells fantastic. Look, what a complete and utter balloon I am. Right. Wow, very, very slick, guys. I got that off eBay. Don't think it was a lot, you know, it was it was pounds, two, three pounds, something like that. And it's that slick, no, it's not coming off my hands. Wow, very, very slick. I've used it before, but I can't remember when. Right, so we'll get that, so it's just damp. Because you can always add water, but it's gonna be a trouble to take it away. Let's see. Where have we gone? <laughs> See, that water, no. It feels really warm. But it, it's like half cold. And half hot water, you know, mixed from the top. See, so we'll dip the tips. But everything's just so warm. I got in the shower last night and I put the, the cold, the dial all the way down to cold. And yet still, when I jumped in the shower, it was ferocious. And I just think it's because, because you're there, you're at that temperature already, aren't you? Hmm, there you go. All I can tell you, look at this guys. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> That's one of the thickest lathers I've ever done. Oh. Okay, we'll clean this clean up. Wash the hair. Oh. I just I can't do it. I cannot do it. I was in I was in a I was in a factory today. Uh, I can't say so much because it, it was it's work, isn't it? You know, but um, it's a place where they repair railway carriages and the wheels for the trains, and, and it was ferocious. It must have been must have been ninety two degrees in there today, and I was in there for hours. Oh, I tell you, when I came out, I thought, oh, let's go and get some air. When I finished and I came out, no, the air outside was hotter than the air in there. The best way I can describe it, guys, is like, you know, when you get a hair dryer and you're drying your hair, you have the hot air coming out, the hair dry. That's what the breeze felt like. And there was just no let up from it at all. Fortunately, my van's got aircon, so I jumped in. I went to my next delivery. I didn't want to get out of the van, but I opened the door to get out of the van, and the heat just hits you like a brick, like an absolute brick. And I was like, "Oh no!" And it's really important to keep hydrated. I drunk 
four and a half litres of water yesterday. And last night actually. And then I got up this morning and I had it. About another litre before I went to work. And I went to work. And had a couple of glasses of water in that place. They put water stations out for the workers because it was so hot. And I had a couple of glasses of water throughout the day. But nowhere near as much as I should have been drinking. I came home. Went for a pee. And it was like treacle. It was horrible. So I've just chunked already. Already chunked since I came in from work. On over two litres of water. So... Public service announcement, guys. You really cannot drink too much water. There we go, that way. With the heat. The heat affects me adversely. And I know I've probably said this in past videos. People look at you when you say that and they go, mm, you, know, you could lose a few pounds, that'd help. Well, I could lose a few pounds, couldn't I? And I'm trying to lose a few pounds. But do you know, guys, when I was 16, you know, I was chiselled out like Bruce Lee. I mean, I really was. There was no fat on me at all. And even then, when all my friends were playing football or running around in the fields, days like this, I couldn't go out. I couldn't go in it. I just can't do it. I'm not built for these temperatures. I'm really, really not. Oh... So, what will it be tonight? Be a cold glass of pop in the reclining seat with a fan blowing on me, watching YouTube videos. Oh, I can feel that menthol now. That's lovely. It's got a lovely, fresh, clean scent to it, guys. Very, very nice indeed. And there's a good hint of menthol. You can feel it now. But it's one, it's a gentle, it's a gentle menthol. Uh, it increases with every pass. Every application, you feel it a little bit more, which is kind of good. I'm not one of these that like menthol so that yeah, you like, you know, during the share. I don't like that. To be honest, I like very little in my soaps apart from, I like strongly scented soaps. Well, if you can get those strong scents using good ingredients, I'm there. I think, I think that's why I'm so fond of PAA. Quality ingredients, quality soap, but the scent strength is there. For the most part, I find Doug's soaps to be extremely, I don't think I've used a PAA soap yet. That was less than a six in scent strength out of ten. Oh, that's just built for me. That I love it. Oh, so anyway, let me know what your shaves of the day. Here's me just wittering on about me. That's because what I was saying. I get sidetracked. What I was saying. Is the heat. It affects my memory. It affects my concentration levels. It affects my stamina. It affects me physically. It does my bones ache. Uh, my back aches. I get a headache. Everything. It's just horrible. Horrible. And yet a few years ago I was working on Smithfield Market. Uh, and it was minus 13. And I had a t-shirt on. And they were all wrapped up to the guilds and we were working, it was about four o'clock in the morning. No, it was about five o'clock in the morning actually. And it was minus 13 and because we were working and we were all getting a sweat on, I sweated and my hair froze. I had icicles hanging off my hair here. Oh man, there you go, here. We're on lather mittens now, look at that. Look, you seen that, didn't you guys? For a tube soap, look at that. You can't argue with that, can you? I don't know how much it is now. 
but for a tube, and I bought it years ago, guys. I think I used it over a year ago. It's been sat in there all this time. And then it come out. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to empty this water. It is so slick. It's the, the water now I'm trying to wash the soap off my hands with. It's so slick now. It's not washing the slickness off my hands. I mean, this is good soap. Let's run it under that cold. Cold. Oh, yeah. Do not like this. Do not like this at all. That razor, guys, twenty pounds. Well worth every single penny. Well worth. There you go. Come on. Oh yes. Wow. You see, and now you put the hot water on. Oh, you get that burst of menthol. Oh. We did okay, didn't we, guys? See, that's that's what colour I'll be after. If I don't get the fan on me, just sit there all night winding my wife and daughter up going, this is too all this. <laughs> my wife says to me, if you say that to me one more time, and then I'll wait about half an hour and I'll go, and I'll just be about to say it and I'll look her and you get that look. You know the look, don't you? Women have only got two looks. Once you get married, they've only got two looks. It's like, don't do it. And the other one is, um, come on. I dare you. It's that. Isn't it? Oh man. Send shivers down the spine. Anyway, here we are. <laughs> Your wife got those two looks as well. We did okay, didn't we? That. That's job interview standard, that guys. That's pretty fine shave. Almost BDF. Wonderful. That razor. Yaki. Blue one. With that handle. Can't remember where I bought it. £19.99 pence it was, well worth the money, absolutely, here we go, Nivea, fresh kit, is there alcohol in this, we're about to find out, come on, Whoa. get it on there, you see these people up and they put a little splash on you think, there's alcohol in that, what, why oh, it smells fresh so, Oh, do you know? Do you know what, what I'm picking up now? And that guy. There's a hint of aloe vera. Oh, aloe vera, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? <laughs> what, there's too much? There's too much in there. Oh, man. Mmm, there you go. And that is our shave. I say it all the time. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for all your support. If you're not a subscriber and you've watched this video and you like what you see, the best way you can support me and say thank you is click that subscribe button. Click that subscribe button. It helps me, helps the channel. And helps you, welcome, welcomes you to the family. Oh man. Right, that's it. I've got to go. Because if I don't get out of here soon, I'm just going to end up like a little sweat stain on the floor. And then my wife, <laughs> the glasses, the glasses sat in a little sweat stain. Oh, gross. Right, look after yourselves. Remember, guys, stay hydrated. Show some love. The world needs more love. Nobody's going to show it. It's up to you. We all need more love. Look after yourselves. And I will see you on Saturday for the Saturday Shave. Thanks again, guys.